Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short, with your host, Caillou Ninja. Welcome to Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short. All right. <laughs> Halloween Corona Special! Oh, so spooky. We all know that COVID-19 has changed almost everything as we know it. And if you thought that the spookiest day in the year is safe, you're in for a real treat. You <laughs> get it? Treat. Anyway, folks, Halloween has just been COVID-5. But have no fear. Although, traditional Halloween activities carry a high risk of spreading COVID-19, we can reduce that risk by organizing, participating, fun, and lower moderate risk alternatives. By following the guidelines recently issued by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So here is some Kain Ninja Breakdown. Bye And how to get your spook on. What about being a zombie and giving everyone a little COVID instead of giving some treats? Things that are safe to do. Instead of in-person house parties, host virtual Halloween events like virtual costume contests. Host drive-by Halloween events, neighborhood or town-based house decorating. Repair candy scavenger hunts at homes with your family. Have a Halloween movie night with the people in your household. Things that you should not do. Watch parties that see 25 people indoors or 150 people outdoors, you'll Get a fine. Cha ching. Watch how we theme parades where a physical distinct cannot be maintained. That's a no no. Indoor haunted houses where people may be crowded together and screaming. Uh, hey, Ryan's and tractor rides with people who are not in your household. Uh, traditional trick or treating. Or treats are ha were handed to children who go door to door. Uh, trunk or treating events where carts get around and large parking a lot. And allowing children to move from car to car to collect candy. Uh, my humble opinion. Just don't do it. It's a full time job doing all of this. Traditional trick or treating is a high risk activity. Instead, the C. B C and Connecticut D P H recommends participating in one way trick or treating where goodie bags or a large candy bowl were placed outside of your home for families to grab. For people who chose to hand out candy, before you enter the door, please make sure that you have your mask on. Please wash your hands before you answer the door. Remain six feet apart from the trick or treater. Place the candy inside the child's bags from him instead of having him to take the bowl themselves. All trick or treating participants should wear a mask or face covering while outside at all times. A costume mask, such as for Halloween, is not a substitute for a cloth or surgical mask. A Chewbacca mask. Is not COVID proof. Batman, forget about it. It covers the wrong half of your face. Spider Man, only if he's going to medical school because that thin spandex mask is enough protection. Basically, do not wear a costume mask. Guys, Halloween's my favorite holiday, but nothing is more important than being safe. Have a spooktacular time and wear a real mask. That's it for today's show, everyone. Next week will be the Kite Engine News 50th episode. We're going to take a break after that month, month for November. We're going to be back in December with a very special and magical guest. Meanwhile, don't forget to hit up my channel on YouTube to help me reach a thousand subscribers on www.
www.youtube.com slash c slash Caillou Ninja. Bye-bye now. See you next week's episode. Go.